when I wake up in the morning, first thing I think of is get your mind right for the day. Some people you wake up in the morning, oh, you just felt like you just got done with practice. Oh man, here's another day. Oh man, here we go, we got another practice. But if you, if you wake up with a positive attitude, it really pushes you through the day and it has a positive effect on your day. The first thing I think about in the morning is, wow, how lucky am I to be able to play this great game and uh, really go out here and, and do what I love and uh, get to go to school to play this great game. I usually wake up around 7.20 and then uh, I ride with Blake. Me and Blake drive together, get here around like 7.40, 7.45, eat breakfast, go get taped, get dressed for the day, and then uh, go to meetings. Everything's really close. I mean, you leave the, the towers and you, and you head straight to the Wayne Denton. Wayne Denton is literally about 15 steps away. And, there, and everything's in there, the weight room, the locker room, training room, everything's in that same vicinity. When you're trying to be the best in what you do, you gotta go to the best and you gotta watch the best perform day in and day out. It really motivates me. It makes me wanna strive to be the best player I could be. I mean, look at the speed and the technique. Can we focus in on that? Look at that. So once you leave there, you can go down to the recruit lounge. You go and you eat breakfast there, and it's all in that same area. Stadium's right there, the practice field, the indoor field is all in that same area. So not having to walk across campus and having to take a shuttle to campus, I think it really helps a lot and it saves us a, a lot of time. After we finish all our meetings, we get ready for practice, get dressed, wear your cleats on, helmet, head out to the practice field. Usually we go out about 10, 15 minutes early, so we can get a walkthrough in. Practice is, is difficult, but it needs to be difficult in order to get appreciation for the game and, and be able to feel good, be in game shape. Uh, practice has to be hard. I mean, the sun is our biggest advantage. I mean, we, we're able to adapt to how, how the sun affects us. Some teams coming down there, they don't, they don't get that opportunity, and it, and it affects them, and it doesn't affect us as much. The biggest thing that we as linebackers do in practice is tackle. Usually after we tackle, we, we get into our run fits, knowing where we have to be, knowing our gaps, knowing our responsibilities. We usually start off, uh, we stretch a little bit, and then uh, we go right to individuals, working with Coach Key, just on our basic fundamentals, our techniques, and uh, sharpening those up. And then we move right into team periods where, where the scout team will give us a look of what we're gonna see, and we, we basically run plays to the uh, to the look that we're gonna see throughout the rest of practice. It's a lot of yelling that goes into it. It's a lot of push, but in the end, the biggest goal is, is win a conference and get into a bowl game. Just got done with practice, showered up, watched a little film, now I gotta go head to class. Uh, new venture finance and business class, should be fun. My major is entrepreneurial business management. It's business management, but with an entrepreneurial track. So I take classes that are more geared to how to start a business, new venture. I'll be graduated before my junior year on the field, so I'm gonna be looking to pursue a master's degree. Just got out of class, just got back over here to the Wayne Dench. About to head in here, get a little study hall in, and uh, have a study hall on Mondays and, and Sundays. So today's just, a, just another day in the life of a football player. The biggest thing with, with UCF that I thought was far beyond uh, a lot of the other schools was its graduation rate with the athletes. Because coming to a school, you want to play football, you want to play whatever sports you want to play, but the biggest thing is in the end, you want to get your degree. And that's one thing that Coach O'Leary prides himself on and, and prides our, our university on is that we will graduate. So going into getting those extra study hall hours to get extra study time is something that's really helpful. Let him serve, let him serve. Living off campus has been great. Uh, I'm living with JJ and Blake. It's been a really fun time just to get away, kind of get away from the dorm life. I love uh, playing ping pong. We're very competitive at our house at ping pong. Blake gets really mad because sometimes he has to cheat to beat me. I serve, get a point. His serve, he gets a point. I go back to serve it. 22-22, I serve. I get two points in a row, I win. Game over but he says we should have rotated serve, so whatever. Just got done beating Blake. Take a look at him, just take a look. He's a sore loser, I mean, he can't win at everything. He's a decent quarterback, but on the ping pong court, he's got no chance. It's a blessing to be in a place where you have a lot of people who care for you. Being here is just something that is home. 
after I get done with football, I mean, this is still a place where I can come back to. That's why I feel it is very special about UCF. If I can go back and I could choose all over again, I would, I'd pick UCF again because it's really done so much for me. I really appreciate this university.